rhinozoids. So I believe there are two species of rhinozoid. The first species of rhinozoid is called Black Rhymos. In the original battle story lore, Black Rhymos would roll out around ZAC 2046 under the Xenobus Empire. At this point in time, the Xenobus Empire was still rolling around with Death Sword, which is always a terrifying thing to see on the battlefield, at least if you're an enemy. The Black Rhymos would perform a similar role to the older model Redhorn, although this time smaller, cheaper to produce, and more agile. And you may have noticed that mine is missing a few parts. I got them used, some pieces are missing, some are broken, but I think I can fix them up sooner or later. Black Rhymos comes equipped with a double-barreled shot cannon on his chest, two close-range beam guns, one on each side of his face, exhaust ports on all four legs, forward surveillance radar as being part of its ears, which mine is sadly missing. Here we go, these cute little ear bits. Two guided anti-air missiles on his butt, two large-bore electromagnetic cannons, one on each side, omnidirectional radar, once again, on his butt, a reconnaissance vehicle hidden inside his back, which can function independently from the Zoid and is basically a little hovercraft. Kind of cute. And lastly, a super hard assault combat drill. Kind of a grandiose name for a spinning drill horn. As for media appearances outside of the Zoid's original battle story, there isn't much. The wiki claims that it appears in the Zoid's new century manga, but I did a quick skim and I didn't see it anywhere, so I think this is a mistake on the wiki. It seems it may have had a brief appearance in the Zoid's UK comic back in the day, although possibly only as a promotional image. It seems he also had a brief appearance in a short mini-comic that was used to promote the Zoid's 2 line, although this depiction looks like he has red horn legs? Bit odd. Now, the first release of Black Rhymos was back in 1986 by Takarotomi. This is a snap-together, wind-up, motorized model kit with black and red coloring, green caps, and Xenobus Empire logos. Black Rhymos' next release should be in 1988, as part of the Super 1000 Zoids line in Europe. I'm pretty sure this is exactly the same as the first release, although this time his name has been changed from Black Rhymos to Black Rhinos. Tomy would release another version of Black Rhymos in the late 80s, this time the Black Rhymos Mark II. While there weren't any mold changes, there were color changes, this time having gray caps and red canopies instead of green. Black Rhymos' next release should be part of the Zoids 2 line, where it's given a very flashy paint job, as most Zoids in this line tend to have. It has been recolored in chrome, black, red, and given a new name, Redhorn. You think I'm some kind of clown? Maybe. Black Rhymos will then get a special edition sold as part of the Coro Coro magazine. This time back to its black and red color scheme with green canopies, although honestly without the box and decal sheet, it might be hard to tell apart from later releases. Coro Coro will release another limited edition Black Rhymos, this time with a silver paint job and given the name Metal Rhymos. Black Rhymos would get two releases as part of the Zoids Build Customized Mobilized line in the early 2000s, which was distributed by Hasbro in North America. He was sold under the name Black Rhymos and Metal Rhymos, and I gotta say, I'm having a hard time telling these apart from the Coral Coral versions. I might have to hit up some bigger collectors and see if they can do some side-by-side -side photos for me to see if maybe there's some slight color differences or something like that. Black Rhymos' next release would be part of the Zoids Genesis line, this time given the name Heavy Rhymos. It's also sporting a new blue and gray color scheme, and honestly, I dig this thing. I need to get one. And finally, Black Rhymos' last release will be part of the Zoid's Generations line, once again under the name Heavy Rhymos, but this time with a much more colorful paint job and some unique parts, and it came in a two-pack with Hound Soldier. It's also sporting brand new box art drawn by Mercy Rabbit, who is currently doing the box art for the Kotobukiya HMM line. I actually got this as a Christmas present. And just look at this thing. I love his mace horn, his orange, and the cool missile boxes that are normally seen on the Conic Wolf just look super cool on Heavy Rhymos. Now, onto the second species of rhinozoid, Cyclops. Rather than a more modern rhinoceros, Cyclops is actually based on this horrifying monstrosity from the distant past whose name I won't even attempt to pronounce. There isn't too much lore-wise about old Cyclops, but as you can see, he's a good bit bigger than Metal Rhymos. Cyclops wasn't part of the original battle story lore. He hasn't appeared in any animes or mangas yet. He's only appeared in a handful of games. Cyclops was originally part of the Zoid Cyber Drive line, which from what I understand is a Game Boy game and two models. Those being Cyclops and Diablo Tiger. Both Cyclops and Diablo Tiger both came packaged with these little controllers, which would allow you to control the Zoid remotely. It also has two different frequencies, so two different Zoids can be controlled at the same time without interfering with each other's frequency. Unfortunately, both my Cyclops and Diablo Tiger over there were used, and neither one of them came with a controller. But from what I understand, they have these little BB stores in its butt, and it shoots them out this gun in its back. I'm really interested if there's some videos out there of Diablo Tiger and Cyclops fighting each other with those controllers. 
I believe Cyclops' only release was back in 2003, and so far it's only appeared in the games Zoid's Cyberdrive, Zoid's Legacy, and Zoid's vs. 2. And I believe the only bits of lore we got from that game were that it's some kind of weird Zoid from the ancient past that is definitely worth studying. In Zoid's Legacy for the Game Boy Advance, you can find a variant of Cyclops called Cyclops 2, which sports a different horn and paint job. I've been told that if you get a Cyclops still in the box that it does come with this extra horn to make the Cyclops 2, but as I said, mine were used, so I haven't got to see it myself yet. And I think that covers it, the two species of Rhinozoid, Black Rhymos and Cyclops.